My name's Georgina. I am married and I have two dogs, Penny and Candy. I enjoy going for long walks. I like visiting the hydro pool each week. Um, just to get some light swimming. I really do enjoy that. And I also like spending time with my family and friends. Well, as you may have heard, the information and fit support service at AQA now operates as SPIRE, which um, stands for Spinal Injury Resource and Support Network. I was first introduced to this service um, when I was back at the Talbot back in 2003. I recall two peer support workers who came into my room for a chat and um, it was just a social chat. They were describing to me how they had returned back home, back to their communities and basically returning back to normal life. And I found this very encouraging for me because at that time I thought my life was over. So um, even after I returned back home, I um, still used the services at AQA. I, for example, I would be calling them about um, car modifications or issues pertaining to women's health. So I was very grateful of this service and I still am. And in a way to give back uh, to AQA and the, the support service, I decided to become a peer mentor volunteer. So I've been doing that for four or five years and I find that very rewarding and um, not only for me, but it's, it's something that I know firsthand is beneficial to a newly uh, acquired spinal cord injured patient. So. I've also decided to give back by participating in Run Melbourne and pushing for Spire. Hello, my name is Peter Van Bentham. I'm a C4 quadriplegic. Um, I was born and bred in Essendon. Um, I'm one of four kids in the family. I uh, grew, grew up in a very tight-knit Dutch community along with um, my sisters and many other friends and stuff like that. Um, I had my injury in 1999 uh, due to a motorbike accident. Um, at the time, my wife and I were together for about four years and uh, my son was five or six weeks old. I was an electrician, I started my apprenticeship when I was uh, 16 years old, so I became a tradesman at 20. Monday night, after work, um, I I thought I'd take my bike for a quick spin. Light was failing. I just thought I'd go a little bit more and uh, got it all wrong and hit a tree going very fast, yeah. And uh, broke my neck, yeah. But after my injury, I uh, decided very quickly that I wanted to be a good father, a husband, and provide work. All those things are important to me, you know. So um, well, I got in with AQA as a uh, admin type person and then just wrote in the magazine and just learnt about as much as I could, and uh, which progressed, and I did certificates and um, disability courses. Um, after my injury, you know, it was important for me to get into leisure and hobbies, all sorts of, you know, starting to think out what I could do and what I couldn't, uh, more what I could do, so um, being trade-based, I really enjoy spending time in a garage, being mechanical, having satisfaction of building something and completing it, you know, I think that's important, what well, was to me. So, um, yeah, I really enjoyed gardening, being at home and fixing things. I maintain the house a lot. Um, that sort of progressed and went further and I got into antiques and a fair bit and buying a lot of Art Deco type uh, furniture, restoring it here and there and moving it on and, and that progressed into vehicles. I got into the sort of Aussies, Aussie muscle car stuff, a bit of English stuff at all. 60s, 70s type vehicles, I've had many bought and sold and, and enjoy the whole aspect of it. It's just about, I think, really just, you know, time to explore yourself and start to think about, you know, what you can do and what, you know, where your mind takes you, you know, start to really take it on and, and see what it is for you that, you know. It starts off small, but don't worry, give it a, a year, six months, a year or two, you'd be surprised how much it snowballs where it goes and how 
your hobbies can take you, but you got to start. You got to start doing something. Yeah. My name is Mark. I'm 26 years old. I'm a T10 paraplegic. I had my accident on the 6th of February 2012. Um, I'm originally from Bundaberg in Queensland, where I grew up with uh, two sisters. Uh, my parents still live in Bundaberg. I've always had fun being creative. I really enjoyed visual art in high school and as well as doing visual art, I participated in the high school string and symphony orchestras. We would go off to a lot of local and regional competitions and I really liked it. As soon as I finished high school, I decided to live in Brisbane for a while. And after living in Brisbane, I moved to Melbourne. When I came to Melbourne, I originally started working in the banking industry. I was involved in a motorbike accident on the 6th of February 2012. I came to a sudden stop at a set of red lights and the car behind me didn't stop. That resulted in a 14 meter catapult. I injured my spine at uh, T11 and T12 and I am now a complete paraplegic. Uh, after having my accident, I witnessed a lot of care that was provided to me from Austin Health and that motivated me to find a career myself in some kind of healthcare setting. I'm currently studying occupational therapy at Monash University. I, I play the violin recreationally and perhaps one day I may decide to study a postgraduate in music therapy. In my spare time I don't like to sit around so I'm always being as active as I possibly can be. I go to the gym a few times a week to maintain, uh, just to maintain my upper body strength. Um, I'll practice my violin, otherwise if I'm not around doing either of those things, I'll, I'll be out and about catching up with friends. I've allowed myself the opportunity to experience a lot of adapting as a wheelchair user. Since my accident, I've learned to scuba dive. I've also been skydiving twice since my accident and I've been traveling extensively around the world to explore different places. There's a, a UK-based charity called the Jubilee Sailing Trust. The Jubilee Sailing Trust have two tall ships that have been purpose-built for people who, with a disability. One of their tall ships left European waters for the first time and went on an around-the-world tour. And I boarded the ship in Perth and I've sailed from Perth to Adelaide and from Adelaide to Melbourne on this tall ship. It was an absolutely amazing experience. Later, after having sailed with this charity, they'd asked me to come back when they were touring past New Zealand. So I spend some time volunteering as a mentor here at the Royal Talbot Rehabilitation Centre, just to be able to give some advice tips and tricks about living life post spinal cord injury.
across the finish line. Spire for Spinal Injury Resource Support Network. Beautiful work for our Spire athletes. Give it up for Spire, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we've got the field coming through. I've counted at least half a dozen so far. This is my uh, first time. Uh, it is really good, and I really enjoy it. And our spy team did a good work. Uh, I'm happy today. Supporting people with spinal cord injury. It's about life.